All right, guys, good morning. I say good morning because it's like 4.30 in the morning. Um, just got on the road with our good friend Christopher here. Hey, guys. So we're heading out to pick up a collection or two, a couple collections up in uh, Iowa. So big collections. As you can see, we got the trailer on the back. And yes, we were at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. We were going to go to, what was it, Hardee's, but they were closed because they have better coffee. They keep telling me that they're going to take my order at the second window, so... I hope I can memorize what I want. But anyways, guys, we're going to hit the road. We're going to do some videos. We'll show you what we find. Um, we're going to check out some other collections and look for some collections. And buy some corn. Corn? You said corn, right? Iowa. Corn. Okay, I misheard you for a second. I was like, wait a yeah, second. Yeah. I was going to drop you off and get you an Uber. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll catch you when it's a little lighter out and uh, go from there. We're going to try to see if we can find some like uh, flea markets, antique stores, toy shops on the way as well. But um, on the road with uh, Christopher and uh, you're going to drive some, right? Oh, I'm gonna drive. Do you have a driver's license? Off the side of the road. Let me see your driver's license. Oh, it, it's we need, just we need a prove. ID. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say we're probably gonna need to prove that this man has a driver's license. So, all right, well, we're gonna get our uh, wake up juice, and the trailer barely clears those little McDonald's signs. Barely. We know we can hit nine feet. Got a little rest stop action here. Compared to the trucks, I don't know. It's gonna be a lot of toys to fill that up, huh? I should've got a bigger car, or a bigger truck, a trailer, like that guy next to me, the Explorer Transport. I broke down, I'm gonna let Chris have a try at driving here. Eyes on the road! Eyes on the road, Christopher. I gotta hurry up and play my games, man. Listen, I'm driving, or you're driving, I'm gonna sit over here, I'm gonna take a nap, I'm tired. Good night. I'm supposed to be waking up at 4.30 in the morning. So we're getting ready to hit. What are we on? I think we're at. Uh, uh, we are going outside of Chicago. Yeah, we're just we're just outside of Chicago. I've never been to Chicago. I've never even heard of this this city. What's it called? I'm kidding. I know it's I know it's Chicago. Look at that thing. That's cool. It's streamlined. Continue for 130. Jeez, maybe letting you drive was a bad idea, Christopher. Are you comfortable pulling this trailer? It's not as bumpy over here as it is over there. What are you talking about? I'm very bumpy over here. Over here? It's not. This is what I need to get right here, this Airstream. That's cool, that silver one. Yeah, I'll sleep in the back when you drive. Yeah, no. You can sleep in the trailer if you want. I don't care. You'll be good. No, that trailer. No, not that trailer. People are going to get car sick. I should probably stop recording this. Hey guys, so we are in uh, Illinois. Illinois. We weren't in Indiana very long. No. Really, just kind of drove quick. through. So we're coming. Uh, we're almost in Iowa, I think, right? How much longer to Iowa? Another hundred. No, that's the end, isn't it? Yeah, that's the end. No. Yeah, we'll be at our location here, and uh, well, that's a long time. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna get back to this driving. This Chris is scaring me over here. He doesn't look like it, but he's very he's very nervous and intimidated by my truck. He drives a smart car. Ah. <laughs> All right, so we're still on the road, guys. We made a quick pit stop um, to get some gas. Towing this trailer is no bueno. No good, no fun. It uh, gets us down to about nine gallons per mile, and we're driving, I wanna say it's what, 600 miles? Something like that? Something like that. So we made a stop at a Walmart, and there was a giant line of people in this row, and I was like, what's going on here? What are you guys doing? They were waiting for basketball cards. Who knew there was a line of people waiting to buy basketball cards the guy was putting out? I'm not into sports stuff, so I really don't know. But uh, Chris ended up buying some speakers and a witch, I'm gonna call it. And I got a, I got an iced tea. So anyway, we're uh, still hitting the road. We're gonna go uh, make a quick pit stop, another pit stop. Um, and how far is it? It's, it's, it's not that far, right? 38 miles. 38 miles, and we'll show you where we're at uh, when we get there. So this isn't our final destination, but I just recalled that this was in the area, so we're gonna check it out. It's a surprise. We'll see. My co-pilot. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going across the mighty Mississippi. What do they call it? Is there a nickname for it? Um, I have no clue. The mighty Miss 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 Old Miss. I don't know. I've never been across the Mississippi on the Welcome ground. Welcome to Iowa. Welcome to Iowa. Thank you. That's pretty big for a river, huh? Pretty big for a river. So we're gonna go check out antique archaeology because it's right here and uh, see what they got. Take exit 306 for US 67 toward Leclerc. 
All right, guys, well, we made it here. We're gonna go check out Antique Archaeology. I doubt anyone from the show is here, but uh, Chris here and I are gonna go check it out. And uh, this place is actually, whoa, sorry. This place kinda is actually, small. it's kind of small, yeah. I'm curious to go look. So we're gonna go take a take a gander here, I'll show you. So there's the, uh, the car you always see. And their van. There's a building, it's actually kind of teeny. I'm surprised. We're gonna go check it out. Not a very big parking lot, so I'm kinda, kinda taking up some spots. All right guys, so I had to mute the original audio from this. They had very loud music playing in the background and I didn't want the video to get flagged for a copyright violation. But this is uh, one of the motorcycles that they dug up in an episode, which is pretty neat. There's a sign on this, do not touch, um, obviously. Some cool stuff in here. A lot of merch. Most of the stuff in here, to me, appeared to be merchandise, um, like a hat or cups, uh, piggy banks even, and stuff of that nature. So it was really more of like a gift shop for the show. I didn't see too much um, antique stuff for sale. I mean, there was some stuff, but I would say 80% of the stuff in there was just merchandise for the shop. Like, uh, like I said, they had license plate frames, they had cups, they had mugs, they had t-shirts, they had, I mean, you name it. Um, unfortunately, no one was there from the show. Danielle, um, Frank, Mike, none of those guys were there. I'm assuming they had better things to do. Those were pretty cool. Um, but here's one of the antique items that were for sale in the shop. Now there's two buildings, the one we were just in was the new building, and this here is the original building, and they have stuff from the show, like this Philip Morris, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the episode where they found that. That was pretty cool. I didn't see a price tag on them, probably there just as a display, I'm sure, I know I took a picture with it, I'm sure a lot of people do as well. This side seemed to have more antique items, they did still have some of the merch, obviously. Um, you have all the old bikes here, you can see, that's a peanut roaster to the right of them. Some old signs, some old bikes. There's some more items inside this showcase. So a lot more of the, probably the stuff they pick from the episode you see, obviously there's some more merch, um, a head in a fridge, some more antique stuff, a lot of bikes, a lot of motorcycles, stuff like that. So nothing there that I bought. I didn't see anything that really jumped out of me for, as something that I would buy or collect, but still pretty neat to kind of check the place out and see it. So I guess, I guess this was the new edition and then the building behind us. They said this was the original one, right? This is the original. Yeah, that's where most of the uh, antique looking stuff that you saw on the pics were. But then you have... Oh, Philip Morris guy. Yeah, he's cool. I guess they didn't sell him. They probably want a lot of money for it. You should buy it. Yeah, go for Don't it. Don't you smoke? You're the one with the star. Nah, I don't need Philip Morris. All right, guys. It was cool to check out our antique archaeology. Um, what do you think? It's mm. really... It was it's, all right. It's nice to stop in once. Say so you got there. Yeah, I would say the, the merch game is strong with them. Uh, it was a lot of merchandise, like uh, like license plates, t-shirts, mugs, and all that stuff. I guess once you get to that size and you're that big, I mean, I, none of the none of the people from the show were there, obviously. No. Um, seeing, but, the, seeing the old motorcycles. There, yeah, there was, there was some cool, cool stuff. There was some stuff you saw them pick off the show, but uh, other than that, it was just like a uh, a physical location for like online merchandise for their store. Buy my shirt. Like a Teespring shop. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. It'd be nice to have had seen a... Uh, Danielle or Mike and uh, what's the other guy's name? Frank, but I figured they wouldn't be there. So anyways, guys, we're going to hit the road, get back on our uh, little journey here. And, uh, you know, Chris is maybe drive eventually. We'll see you soon. He might drive. I don't think so. Are you going to drive? I'll drive. I don't trust, I don't trust him driving. <laughs> That's why I'm driving again. All right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. All right. Been on the road for eight hours. All right? Eight hours? Eight hours. We're hungry. There's nothing here. Iowa's barren. It's like literally... Corn. There's corn. No, there's not even any corn yet. I'd be eating corn. Like, I'm so hungry right now. There's nowhere to stop. I would be eating corn out of a farmer's field and risk getting a shotgun blast in my general direction. <laughs> but right now, there's nothing but empty fields. And cases. And there's a lot of cases, but I haven't stopped there to eat. I haven't. But I think we got, what, two hours left to our destination. And then, uh, a lot more empty fields. Yeah. 
All right, guys, we're in corn country. We drove out here to meet Lucas um, and Cruz, and we're buying some of his childhood dreams and memories here. Um, let's show everybody what we got here. All right. So this is Lucas here and his son Cruz back here playing a video game. Lucas is a lot older than he looks. So how old are you? Oh, you got all these old toys? I'll actually be 42 tomorrow. Oh, man. Happy birthday. Well, What'd you get me for my birthday? No, you were supposed to bring me something for my birthday. Yeah, I'm going to end up giving you money. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right, so what do you got here, man? Show us around. Um, well, we got a lot of... Uh, this is all the stuff that I grew up with. Uh, mainly uh, Masters of the Universe. I like the attorney here. And you said this, this is complete? It's all, yep, complete. I got the comic book right in front of it. So you got the comics here yep, for all the, the Motu stuff. The awesome. I got all the vehicles. A lot the of them, right? You don't yep. have every single one. You said you're missing a couple. Um, I'm actually... Like Snake that, Mountain. I don't see a Snake Mountain No, here. I'm missing Snake Mountain. That, <laughs> that's on my mom. Same as that, uh, the skeleton. The one they used to hold all the face. Oh, Battle Bones. Battle Bones. I got him too. Um, but I can't you're, find him. You're holding out on me. I know. I know. <laughs> Um, Don't go to Iowa, people. <laughs> we got the Thundercats. We got the Thunder. We got a Mummer's Tomb, Mummer's right? Mummer's Tomb, yeah. That's cool. Then you have, what's this, some more pieces for the Mo Two. Yep, Masters of the Universe. Some, some more, more accessories. Now, weren't you wearing a jacket similar to this when I got I here? I did, the leopard skin. I did. Yeah, it's very that. nice. It's kind of like a zebra yeah. leopard combination. We got a, some silver hawks silver in here, hawks. right? Yep. Nice. Got all the weapons for Masters of the Universe, some Centaurian stuff. All right, we got that. Yeah, just what's this like? Just random. You see, you got crystal warriors. Yep, yeah, some random things in there. What is this? What's this go to? I'm not sure actually. Does anybody know what this is? I'm not sure what that goes to. That's pretty neat. Maybe one of the D and D figures. I'm not sure. We got the Thundercat weapons in here. Yep. Yeah. That ain't gonna fly without its propeller. Nope, but it's back here. Actually. Okay. Well, you got all the GI Joe. Uh, Vehicles right here. Yeah, Yojos, and then these are what, Thundercats? Thundercats. Yep, all these sweet. are Thundercats. Now you have like a Mummer. You got the mail. You got two of them. Yep, you got two mail mailways. Way. Sweet. You got Vulture, Man, there. Panther. Or what's, yeah, Panther back there. Yep, Chitara, yeah. uh, Tigra. They're all in there. The Samurai dude, I'm not sure what his name is. I can't remember his name. You know, there's Chita Where's Chitara at? Should be down there. I see Wily Cat. And Wily Cat and Wily Kit. There's Shatar right there. Oh, there she is. No, there she is right there, and okay. I got her bow staff over there, too. Okay, cool. Um, what we got here? Universe. So you have a lot of the Motu, you said. You have I got everything, pretty much everything. Everything what you except said. two figures, um, Snake Face and um, the Hordak Trooper. Okay. Yep, those are the only two Hordak Trooper. So you got the Sorceress here, a Multibot, Modulot, you got Orko. You said you had um, Orko's yep. um, his magic tricks or all magic that? Magic tricks. You got some of the meteor orbs. Tila. All right, what we got here? We got Scareglow, Twistoid, Randor, Clam Champ, Ninjago, Ninja. Ninja is it? Ninjago. Ninja? Ninjago is the Lego oh, set. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Action minutes. So you got that. You got the. What is it? Rotar and Twistoid, right? Yeah, Rotar and Twistoid. Yeah. You got Trap Jaw. You got two Sorns in there, or Sarads, rather. Cool. The other box. Skeetor. Cyclops. Triclops, yeah. Spike yeah. Or, spike or. You got Mossman, you got Rattler. Here's Extender. Leech right there. Leech was one of my favorites as a kid. Uh, Dragon Skeletor. Blaster Ske Skeletor. Yeah. You got the twins. Yeah. Too bad. Yeah, yeah too bad. That's what it was. And. Did you have Randor too? Yeah, King Randor is in this box. Is he in there? I must have missed him. Let's see. Let's let's show the folks. Okay, we got Randor. Randor needs a bath. He does need a bath. Are you playing with these things out in the uh, the yard? Yep, like with... today, right? No. You're like getting some final uh, some final playtime with these things. Huh? Playtime with my little childhood toys. <laughs> so this bag, there's some different guys in there. Some okay, so you got a, a D and D guy. Okay, no, that's uh, Black Star. Is it Black Star? Yep. Okay. I think it's just kind of a generic knockoff guy right there, isn't it? I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's just one of those, um, oh, I forgot what they're called. They're kind of like He-Man knockoffs. There's Warlord. Oh, that's his cape in there. Oh, yeah. See? He has cape, too. So what do we have in here? You got some, uh... Oh, there's a Thunder Tank in there, right? Yeah, Thunder Tank. Nice. You got Voltron. Got, Voltron. got some Magos in Why there. is the Hulk's pants halfway down? I have no <laughs> idea, man. That's covered his bottom. Hulk smash. Well, got yeah, some Tron penguin? figures. Okay. What's this? Is like a shampoo bottle or something? Yeah, that was the old shampoo bottle. Skeleton. Wait, you don't even need this. No. You should just give this to me because you don't have any hair. <laughs> I don't have any hair. So, God, keep that scalp moisturized. Though. Yeah, right? 
All right, what else do we have here again? Um, oh, these are cool. Yep. Were you like a carnival king? What did you do, like the bottle toss or the ring toss or something? Darts, man, darts. Darts? Yeah, I was the North Iowa dart champion for uh, You were carnival. murdering some balloons, huh? Murdering some balloons. <laughs> these are cool. These are all like the little glass ones. Yep. There's a He-Man one in there, too. Oh, is there? Cool. Yep. Let's see. Night Ranger. Poison. Poison. Look at that hair, man. Easy. Does that make you jealous? Heck Hold no, on, let's man. see what you would look like Heck with that. No. I'm going to superimpose that onto your uh, noggin, bro. <laughs> oh, there you go. Got the she and Orko on there. That's cool. Skid Row. I found a bunch of these in the 80s house. Rat. Twisted, Twisted Sister. Sister. And Ghostbusters. That's cool. Over here, oh, we got, got this some, here. Yep, you know, there's all the He-Man. Heard all right, the Geo Joe. Yep. Got some legs laying there. Yep, some legs laying there, but all right, it's cool, cool. So you got two cases of Joes. It two looks cases like. of Joes, yep. And then we got more He-Man. So this is all the stuff for the attorney. Yep. Or part. So what we have here? It looks like um, that nice little D and D guy. I think, right? No. What's he go to? Can't recall. Oh, I don't remember what that goes to. We have some Fraggles. It's like a, some Mac McDonald's kind of uh, things. Got Daryl Herschel. <sighs> Starting lineup. Where's your trash can? Hold uh, on. We got recycling bin. We're going to recycle that. <laughs> got some um, got Transformers, some Transformers in there. In there. Some What's this here? Envelopes? That is just... Uh, a couple like that. Eh, GoBots, GoBots and stuff. Yeah. A couple Transformers in there as well. Cool. This is G.I. Joe Parts, it yep. says. And you got... It looks like you have the... Uh, Power yeah, sword and the He-Man shield. Can you play any tunes for us on that? I cannot. Is it tuned? Can you try? No, that's that's horrible. Can't do it, Come man. on, can you you could do a better job than that, right, Chris? <laughs> no. You stink. So we got some humanoids. Inhumanoids. Awesome. Yep. So it's a uh, tendril decomposing a um, metlar, right? Yeah, but then down below. What's in that? That's all the Secret Wars. Okay. And uh, Justice League. Uh, not Justice League, but what do you call them? Uh, superpowers, right? Superpowers, yeah. No. Like the old school ones? Yep. Okay, sweet. You got Daredevil there. Would you try to paint him or something? No. no is this no, plastic no. just decaying or something, no, I guess? I don't know. Yeah. Now, are there pieces in here? It looks like there's a lot of pieces in there's here anyways. There's weapons, actually. The only one that does broke is uh, Steppenwolf's uh, axe there. Okay. It's in there, though. Those are pretty cool. And you have the Phantom. And then I got all the shields with all the... Oh, the little... Uh, what are they? Uh, holograms? Yeah. Yeah. Those are cool. It's Wolverine, so that's cool. It's funny, like you look at these compared to what the toys look like now. I know. <laughs> you know, like you got those Marvel Legends and stuff. Those are the ones that are. Those are cool. Those are cool. Yeah, I mean, those are the stuff we had when we were a kid. You know, when you grew up, that's what you played with as a kid. I still play with this stuff. What are you yeah. talking about? The stuff that I comes out now, right? Up. Um, the tower. I'm missing Doctor Doom's Tower of Doom. Okay. Yeah, that's another thing I can't find too. There's a whole bunch of things I can't find, guys. So when you find that, it's going to have to come UPS or USPS to me. I don't know, man. We're going to have to talk about that. Yeah? What's this? Uh, I think this is just old baby toys. Ah, okay. No, some old baby toys. There's actually some pretty cool ones in there. There's no such thing as a cool baby toy. And this one right here is some trucks. Old got old Freddy. Yep, the talking Freddy Krueger. Does he talk? Yep. Does he still talk? Yep. My slurs Here, I'll let you, uh, he's drunk. Yeah, he's a little <laughs> drunk, but. He's not as scary. <laughs> no, I'm not as scary. I don't want to be. That's kind of freaky, though. That is kind of creepy. Kind of freaky here. A little bit. I used to have a board game, too. Oh, did you? I board game, yeah. So what's this box over here? That over there is some stuff that I'm going to keep, some Sentimental Valley stuff. All right, cool. You want to show us what you got? Or? Uh, yeah, this is just some um, my, uh. Crossbows and oh, crossbows and catapults. Yeah, that had that giant mat, catapults. like that uh, that big plastic mat. You'd shoot the checker type yeah, things, right? Yeah, that's each, each one of the castles. I had that. That game was fun. Yeah. I remember playing that as a kid. Actually, I do have the mats. I'm not sure why they're not, they're not in here, but I do got them though. It's and probably then, with uh, Doctor Doom's castle. Yeah, it probably is Snake Mountain. Also. What's this here? That's cool. This I got this toy from um, when we first moved here into town back in the early '80s. They were kind of hesitant on us living in town. Uh, and there was this one lady. Her name was Mrs. Lewis. Why were they hesitant? I, mean, just... I don't know, man. It was just something different. You know, got 12 kids, you know. So, so yeah, there's 12 kids. There's, wait, there's, there's like 11 kids, more of you? No, yeah, there is. Good God. Yeah. Five brothers, or six brothers, six sisters. Is your mom a saint? No, she a saint. <laughs> She's on a stained glass window somewhere, Her right? Mom is a saint. But yeah, Mrs. Luther, the only neighbor that was really cool, yeah. she gave me this for Christmas. That's why I always. That's cool. Yeah, that's something you got to keep, you know? Yeah, you know. 
And you got some other cool stuff in here. I got some other cool things, you know, some old Bruce Lee figures back in the day. Yeah. Old Dragon Ball Z, some Star Trek guys. Okay. That I grew up with. Uh, what's this from? That was from the Masters of the Universe movie, actually. Oh, really? Yep, like was, when you went to the theater? No, it was um, Burger King. I oh, okay. Think it was Burger King gave out. That's gave cool. That, stuff out. that and the swords. These were like straws. You could snap it on straws, but I took them off because that one we could play with. You know? So throw those in that box over there. <laughs> actually, to be honest with you, I think there might be one or two of those in there. Oh, I didn't see one, yeah. but that's cool. There Hopefully there is, right? That's some old Star Trek figures I bought like in the 90s. Yeah, some of the Playmate but stuff. I don't know what it is, but I always just play with this guy. That's just pretty cool. tricks on it. My old Godzilla figures. Oh, those are sweet. Yeah. I like those old like rubber monsters. That's like one of the things I like to collect. Then I actually, I got another box somewhere inside that has a whole bunch of other figures too. Yeah. Well, cool. So, and they got one more thing outside you wanted oh, to show yeah. me, right? Let's right. check this thing out. That's I saw the picture, so I got to see it. Yep, I was probably the only kid in North Iowa that had one of these. You split it 12 ways? Yeah. Oh, actually, I was the only one in there, man. Oh, really? Yep. Are you the youngest, or? I'm the last of my class. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So this thing. This thing is a Jim Dandy Star Wars playset. That is cool. So you got the speeder bike got down the speeder here. Bike on the bottom. We got the ATSC up on top. I'm not gonna climb up there. I doubt it'll hold me. You think it'll hold me? No, probably not. No. Nope. You, call, you, um, you call me fat? I am not. But hey, you know what? <laughs> That's what you're saying. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it. No, man. We um. Lockdown has not been kind. <laughs> It was me and uh, two of my buddies. We used to hang out up there. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So it's basically just metal poles, man. Yep, metal poles. You don't see that many around because... I'm sure they rusted out. I'm sure, yeah. Uh, you were supposed to put these in concrete. Oh, so how is this one mounted? Is it just you know just what? sitting on the ground? Well, it looks like there's... Is that a peg or something right this, there? I have this just holding the ladder because the ladder was swinging back and forth. Okay. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm surprised this damn thing hasn't blown off with some of the winds gusts. I was going to say, because it's just like... Really light plastic, right? It's yeah. almost like a canopy, like a tent. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. Have you ever seen one of these before? Never. It's pretty neat. I couldn't, I couldn't really find nothing on them either. Yeah. Like, There's some stuff that's just hard to find. Like I found this um, in that the '80s house. I found this. Um, it was a Coleco ride-in stomper, and like you'd kind of sit up on it, and it would the front wheels would lift up. I can't find. And the only thing, if you search for it, the only thing I've ever been able to find is a picture of some girl on Christmas morning riding one. Well, that's all I can find. You know. I wonder if they actually uh, did a recall on these, or maybe they stopped making them just maybe. because of how unsafe they were. Because there was a, a slide that was supposed to come with it on this. Oh, okay. Side. I mean, you have all the you got the space for the slide that was supposed to oh, okay. right here. Okay. Maybe a really skinny slide. Well, so, I yeah, want to fit down. That was for the slide right there. Well, that's pretty cool. Return of the Jedi. Of the so Jedi. this is supposed to be like a an ad at right, and then uh, oh, ATSC actually. Is it ATSC? Yeah. That's when I had when I was a kid, little walker, the two legged little chicken well, walker. Yeah, I think it's cool. From Return of Jedi. So this is all coming apart pretty easy. Yep, yeah, not bad. Sweet. A couple of bolts here and there. Should take us about half an hour. All right. That. Cool. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna uh, try to wheel and deal here. I got some chloroform, so we'll just not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lucas' son collects Funko Pops, so we're gonna show you guys his collection of Funko Pops real quick. Lucas, do you want to be on the camera? Uh, yeah. Cruise. Okay. That's Cruz. I'm sorry, Cruz. This. this is Lucas. All right, Cruz. So you're what? 15 years old? 27 years old? No. <laughs> All right. So show us what you got. Oh, I like that gizmo. That's awesome. So what's your favorite one? My favorite will probably be the Bob Ross. Bob Ross. He's got a little raccoon. So how long have you been collecting Funko Pops? Um, about a year. About a year. You got a bunch of them, man. These are cool. You got Indiana Jones, McDonald, the Fry Guys. I like the child one there, Grogu with the frog. Oh, is that the alien from V? That's neat. Have you seen the movie V? No. You gotta see it. It's cool. I used to watch that one as a kid. That's probably why it turned out the way I did. You got the little gremlin guy here. That's cool. What's this one? Who's that? The street art? Oh, Miles Morales. Okay. That's pretty cool, dude. And these are all different ones behind here? Oh, yeah. Tumblebee. Devil Flanders. Werewolf Bart. Those are pretty neat. So which one are you trying to get next? Um, I'm not entirely sure. You're not sure yet? Yeah, like what? 22 coming, right? 22 coming? Yeah, we got 22 Whew. coming. There goes your allowance. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are cool, man. I bet everyone out there watching this is probably like, that's awesome. I'm glad you showed us your collection. There's a bunch of them here. Let's go back three deep. We got Elvis. Do you like Elvis? Mm -hmm. He's good. What's your favorite Elvis song? Mm, all 
shook up. All shook up's a good one. My daughter, she's three, and I sing. Uh, she likes Blue Christmas. She makes me sing her Blue Christmas every night to go to bed. That's the lullaby she likes. So when it comes on, she goes, "Is that you, Daddy?" I'm like, uh, "No, <laughs> it's Elvis." <laughs> but cool. All right, man. Well, thanks for sharing your collection. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, it's 2 a.m. Uh, we had to make a pit stop, take a take a little uh, quick power nap, and head back. Uh, we got the two collections. We are almost out of Iowa, back into Illinois. You're right, Illinois? Indiana. Indiana, no, Illinois. And then we're going into Indiana. I should learn my geography a little bit better. But we are at Iowa 80. Apparently it is the uh, world's largest truck stop. I don't know if that's actually true, but uh, it says it is. I don't know. It's pretty, pretty big. I'll give it that. Go sleep. <laughs> We're taking turns sleeping, but uh, we just decided to stop and take this quick one hour power nap. I took mine and uh, we're gonna hit the road again. I'm gonna get a cup of Joe, aka coffee, and uh, get back to Michigan. All right, guys, got my cup of Joe, and I got the most ridiculous, absolutely sensational piece of roadside food I've ever seen here. I'm gonna show you because this is like, I wasn't gonna get it, and then I was like, eh. Whatever, I'm only in Iowa once. <laughs> this is the most gargantuan piece of beef jerky I've ever seen in my life. I don't even want to eat it. I might just hang this up on the wall of the shop. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? I think you'd hang it. I think, yeah, I don't know if that, it doesn't even look that tasty, but I saw it and I was like, this is like a gag gift for somebody. I don't know. So that's going to sit there in our mess here. Like I was saying, guys, uh, we're back on the road. We picked up two collections. We got the one collection I showed you um, us going through with Lucas and uh, the other collection. We didn't get to do video inside the house, but uh, I'll show you when we get back to Michigan where we have some daylight. Um, get your alarm going off. Your power nap's over. Power nap's over. You don't sound like you've gotten enough sleep. I'm going to drive so you get some sleep. Chris is going to sleep, but uh, we got another collection. It's awesome. It's got a bunch of Star Wars stuff, um, like vintage. What else is in there? There's some Mego stuff there was that alien there's some cool stuff we'll show you when we get some more it's light enough but the trailer's packed um places uh the trailer's full and um yeah right inside of the truck's pretty, the full. Truck's pretty full too. so i was almost gonna leave old chris behind so i could get some more goodies but unfortunately i needed someone else to, to help me drive so <laughs> all right guys we're gonna hit the road and uh we'll show you what we got when we get stopped and we are at the world's largest supposedly truck stop we're back, got back to Michigan, and um, like I said, we did pick up a second collection. Uh, we didn't, unfortunately, we didn't get to do video um, showing it, picking it um, inside the house. But I do have it here, and I'll show you. Let's turn this camera around. All right, as you can see, obviously this wasn't sitting here while we uh, we drove. I just brought this. This had to sit in the back seat, uh, buckled in because it wouldn't fit in any of our totes. But um, trailer's pretty full. I mean, let me back up, and you can see the whole thing. I picked this up. We stopped at the Target. And I saw this and it was cool. Hold on. It's like a bop it game. Bop it to start. So, maybe that was cool. The kids would like that. But that was not part of the collections we picked up. And now it's going to talk the entire time. But um, as you can see, we got the attorney, which is complete. We picked this up in the second collection, which is um, the 1978 Kenner Alien. And that's got the poster in there and everything. That thing's in really good shape. So, the stuff we picked up from the second pick. Um, was a Star Wars case back here, and I'll open that up and show you. Uh, we got two more Star Wars cases. Those are all full of complete figures. Um, and we'll go through this stuff in more detail like we normally do. But everything's complete in there. They're in really nice shape. Now, this is a vinyl cape, but I don't know if it's real. I'm going to have to check. Um, I'm assuming it's not, because most of the vinyl cape, well, all the vinyl capes, should have a crosshatch pattern in there. Um, woo. And this one doesn't seem to have that, so. But, um, we have these guys here, and they're all complete. This is the uh, mail-away, um, Nim -nub, I think, is what he said. And then we have some more figures down in here. We have some of the last 17. Um, he's complete. He has his coin here, EVD9, 99, rather. And we got Han, or not Han, Lando, Zuckus. We got Orange Snake uh, Yoda there, Snow Trooper. Got some extra accessories here. All right, so depending on where you guys are, if you have a collection and you're interested in selling it, let us know. If you're uh, reasonably close, or even if you're across the country, depending on the size of the collection, we might uh, we want to work a deal. So um, 
This here is a uh, Bib Fortuna, and he has this uh, red cloak. Now I know there was a it was a prototype, um, and I think there's only like five known to exist. So this is probably um, either a, a fan made or a, just kind of a, a knockoff cloak. I'll have to double check. That's not what I'm super familiar with. I know the Lily Letty one um, is more of a burgundy color, and that's more of a bright red. So it's probably not legit, but I have to check. It's not what I'm super familiar with. We do have Blue Snaggletooth, who's in good shape. Uh, we have a couple more guys down here. They are all complete, I believe. Um, you know, Boba Fett. So, we have all those Star Wars. Like I said, the uh, Vader case over here is full of figures as well. They're all complete. But let's look through here first. I'll show you. And I'm going to go more in detail. just kind of giving you a sneak peek of what we got from the second collection since we saw the first one. We have a bunch of carded figures. There's a couple droids figures. We have uh, some Power of the Force figures. Um, I want to say there's like, how many do we have in here? One, two, three, four... I think it's like 20 of them or something like that. So let's move this back here. Unfortunately, it's raining outside, so I don't want to bring anything in right now. <laughs> it just started raining. It's not raining hard, but still. All right, so in here, we have like a Mego Joker, just a Catwoman from the movie. We got some superpowers. We got some uh, wrestlers. We got the Power of the Force Han and Carbonite there. We got uh, Riker. We got another superpower there. We got a complete uh, fridge, mail away. We got the Winnebago collector card set, which I'm sure there's a giant market for. Just some random uh, Voyager stuff. More of that Playmate stuff. This Playmate stuff never, I mean, really went anywhere value wise. And then the same thing, we got these Toy Biz. That's the Toy Biz Venom with the uh, little uh, symbiote squirting thing. Got the big boss man, he's complete. So. Let's put that back down. When we were working out the deal, I was like, you need those cases? Because those will come in handy for the shop. I was like, no, I don't need them. So we ended up throwing those in. Um, I can't open the case because the uh, the legs from that Jim Dandy uh, playset are kind of blocking it. So I don't want to scuff it up. But we have a couple of the vintage Migos here. We have uh, Kirk. We have a Klingon. Mr. Spock. Sharon and Bones. And then we do have the loose Gorn over there. Then we have a mail away. Um, ugh, I can't remember his name. G.I. Joe figure. He's from like 90s, the early 90s. Alright, now we'll go in this box. Kind of give you a sneak peek of what we have. And again, I'll go through this stuff in detail, take it all out. I'm not just going to do that here. But uh, So we have some of these little die casts here. These are opened, um, but they were put back in the box the, the Millennium Falcon and the uh, Y Wing. So if you look on here, here's that. Uh, Red Cloak Bib Fortuna was actually used on this. It was like a pre-production thing, and they just used it for photo shoots, apparently. So this is the mail away. Um, I guess Gamorrean. Uh, Gamorrean Guard, Squidhead, and Bib Fortuna. But, as you can see, the mail away bib in here has got the, uh, the brown cloak like he's supposed to have. But then, you'll see, we have some... Uh, a-Wings from Droids, and those are in the box. One of them is complete with the inserts, the manual, and everything. The other one is complete, but does not have the inserts. It has the instruction manual and all that fun stuff. We have two side gunners. One is sealed, never opened. Um, the other one is in there. It's not complete. It's missing one of the guns. This is the stands. Let's see if I can open this here. Yeah, I can. I don't want to mess with it right now, guys. I'll go through it more in detail. We got a security scout down there um, in the box. Vehicle maintenance Cloud City playset. Twin setter. Uh, we got the Twin Pod Cloud set. Cloud car set. And then, uh, this is just a box of random uh, G.I. Joe accessories. Back here, this is really cool. I'm not going to be able to pull them out here um, just because of what they are. But this is um, shelf talkers. They're basically, uh, they'd be on the shelf in the store showing you that Star Wars was displayed on there. There's two of those that have never been used inside there. So I'll show you that, guys, when I get all this stuff unloaded and pack, unpacked inside. All right, guys, and this is the rest of that second collection. You can see we have a uh, Y-Wing, which is complete. Um, there's another Y-Wing in the box that's complete. Get this out of here. Sorry for the uh, shaky video, but right now I'm uh, trying to not get wet.
my butt sticking out <laughs> in the outside there. So we have some Centurions that are complete. In the box here we have Tidal Blast. We have Hornet. And we have Detonator. And my favorite, Dr. Terror. So those are super cool. Here's some parts of the Y-Wing. Then we just have a couple of random, uh, this is a sealed $6 million man game. And a sealed Aliens game, which does have a rip in the cellophane, but it's still uh, there and sealed. And then just some random uh, cards and whatnot down here. Those are all complete. You got the Space uh, 1999, Star Trek The Motion Picture, and uh, The Voyage Home. So, But yeah, guys, we'll go through more detail of all of this collection. I know you guys probably want to see the Joes in more detail, um, Star Wars and all that stuff in more detail. We'll do that again. It's raining, so I really don't want to deal with this. But it was a really cool collection. Um... Both of them. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button. It's down, down there somewhere. If you want to hit that, appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up, and if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you on the second part of this where we're going through all this stuff. All right, guys, see you later. I'm Eternia. Hear me roar.